The biggest focus for local authorities across the whole country is the, is the savings agenda. Just to put it into context for Lewisham, we've got to find about £95 million pounds worth of savings. So that's one in three pounds that we spend on our budget. Is that for one year? No, that's over the next four years. Right. So it's absolutely huge. The difficulty is finding those savings whilst redesigning services so they meet people's needs and not just salami slicing budgets mm. because actually you know it's not gonna it's not gonna find the savings that we need it's also not going to enable us to deliver services that are sustainable and, and meet people's needs in the community. So I think that's the that's the main challenge. I think in terms of the areas of focus that are most difficult is children's and adult services. Right. Technology is a way of delivering things or services cheaper, mm. quicker, more efficiently in a more responsive way. The difficulty is that there's not a great deal of, of technological expertise in local government. Mm. So sometimes we can, in my experience anyway, we can not do ourselves many favours and specify the types of technology that we want poorly and end up getting something that doesn't quite meet our needs. Mm. Um, and I think there's a little bit of fault on tech companies as well because they often don't understand the constraints that, that government organisations are working in and as a result aren't able to deliver to the time frames that they set out or to the specification that the customer has. It's been the first time that we've been able to communicate with the, the whole organisation in a, in a sort of consistent way. We've been able mm. to push messages directly to people that are engaging mm. with us on, on the platform. And we wanted to involve people that in a really transparent way, mm. which we've struggled to do in the past. Typically people use things like focus groups, but only certain people, we know only some certain people yeah. come to, to those kinds of things. So it was a way of us engaging on a, a really big scale um, and of getting in potentially game-changing ideas mm. from, from across the organisation. Mm. One of the difficulties is the delivery of ideas. Mm. So as I was talking to you before, that actually, relatively speaking, the ideas part is much easier than actually delivering on the ideas. So because we've generated so many ideas, some good ideas as well, mm. it's made us realise that it's actually really difficult to follow through on all of them and there needs to be some kind of dedicated resource to, to, to do that. Generally we'll just assess them on their merits and against a couple of criteria that we'll, that we'll set up front at the very beginning of the challenge. Quite important actually because for some challenges we've got loads of ideas through and yeah. actually it's really resource intensive sometimes to go through every single one and to you know submit a really you know um, not a long response but a response uh, the response that people deserve. Mm. Um, and if you set out really stringent, not stringent criteria, but if you're very clear about what your criteria is, then it's much easier to say to people, no, I really like the idea, but actually it's not meeting the criteria this time. You know, keep, keep submitting your ideas um, mm. and look at the criteria at the start of the challenge. So just from a practical point of view, it helps to, it helps to manage mm. it. And one of the ideas that, um, that came through was to make use of all of the data that we've got about children from various different organisations. Mm and to start to predict types of support that people are likely to need based on events that happen in their lives. So it's like big, big data, basically. Yeah, yeah. Um, and hopefully we can, through using that predictive sort of analysis, we can direct them to relevant services before they need to, right. before people need to make a referral. So mm -hmm. we, can, we need to tighten up the governance around it. So what I like personally is that we have some kind of board, some kind of innovation board that meets maybe on a quarterly basis where the best ideas that come out of challenges go to, they pitch them uh, in more detail. Because one thing that we notice is that people don't actually, they don't submit a business case, they submit the, the, the sort of kernel of an idea and it needs a lot more work. So we're changing the way we're using our platform in that we're kicking ideas back to people that have come up with them at mm -hmm. the end of the challenge and saying, this is great, but it needs to be worked up into something a bit more formal into a business case. Yeah. So we'd like those business cases to come through to some kind of innovation board and at that, um, and within that board, hopefully, we can allocate resources formally to the project, and that might help us with, uh, with the delivery. Mm -hmm. One thing we're considering is having a very small pot of money that we could attach to challenges to seed fund some ideas. Mm -hmm. And so, if they needed some feasibility work around an idea, then you could potentially draw down on that money. But again, 
there's lots of discussion things we had before we yeah. sort of take those forward, but those are some ideas that we're looking at. We're thinking about involving other public sector organisations in that, so it might be the hospital, it might be GPs, mm-hmm. it could be Job Centre Plus, mm-hmm. and potentially neighbouring councils in the South East oh, yeah. in that challenge. Mm-hmm. And we're getting a, a graduate trainee to help us run that as a, as a sort of as a, as a bigger as a bigger thing because it's mm-hmm. going to require much more sort of administration and everything yeah. to, to make it to make it work. But yeah, we are not planning to do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's really exciting. It's okay. awesome. Great. Um, is there anything else you want to add? Yeah, follow me on Twitter, Joseph now. <laughs> 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 um, no, I don't think so. Okay. Um, great. Well, thank you for coming to chat to us. You're very welcome. Perfect.